some more good news coming from the Middle East, uh, more specifically the UAE. Qatar lit up his buildings in honor of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after um, BJP members or leaders, wherever they are, they made insulting remarks and in support of that, I believe they uh, removed some Indian delegation, I believe, I'm not too sure, but, but I do know is they lit up their buildings in honour and this is the unity we need and this is what truly unites Muslims, the honour of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's what, that's what unites us and that's what gets us results and is we've been seeing it in the last few days you can say all you want about um this group and that group and labels and sex and um sectarian disputes but the honor for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his family companions his wives and everything connected to him is what unites us is what we is what brings us victory and is what we fight for until our last breath and other sects can say all they want about um, exaggerating and whatever else and that can be refuted by scholars in the past they have refuted they refute, carry on refuting it they still are but what else has given us victory nothing else has given us victory if you think about it besides fighting for the honour what else has we have we got together for as Muslims and got victory? There's only some some people that are in other causes that aren't with us. Be it with the Uyghur cause, be be it with the Palestinian cause, be it with the Yemeni, be it with the Syrians. There's only large sections of Muslims that aren't with us. But when it comes to the honor of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. There's only been the Rafidi, that's it. And the Rafidi, from what they are saying and their beliefs and what's coming out of their mouth, are they even Muslims? And you can't tell me. So for me, I'm going to label them Rafidi. So to me, all Muslims united and the Rafidis lost and they will continue losing. And this is how we... we, we managed to get results and like I mentioned the other day one of the women that saw, uh, saw Mashtar al-Aqsa being attacked when she realised that the Muslims did not respond she realised we are weak and we are weak and we don't mind being weak and we just carry on like nothing's happened because we are weak and because of that they can do what they want to Masjid al-Aqsa, they can do what they want to Jerusalem, they can do what they want to Muslims. But now that we have united, this is the result. And hopefully going forward we can unite. We can unite for Masjid al-Aqsa, we can unite for the Uyghurs, we can unite for the uh, for the Syrians and the Yemenis and all over the world. But for to unite for those causes... You bring it back to the honor of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. It's his nation, it's his, it's his, it's the believers he prayed for and still prays for and will pray for and make his final dua on the Day of Judgment for is these people that are being attacked. If you think about it like that, then you would always, you would always fight for the Muslims because you, Fighting for the Muslims, you are automatically fighting for the honor of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa